My name is Violeta Zentai. I'm a professor of public policy and social anthropology at the Central European University. My name is Marina Cikos and I'm a Roma feminist gender equality professional. I'm also the co-founder of the feminist collective of Romani gender experts. So my name is Ernő Kadit and I'm working for the Roma Press Center for more than two decades now. I'm a journalist, uh, I'm a, a communication expert and editor-in-chief in this uh, organization. So historically, I think the literature um, and in the public discussions mentioned three major types of stereotypes uh, against uh, the Roma in Europe. One is the um, Roma portraying this group of people as dangerous. Roma is, is uh, uh, close to criminality, if not, you know, most importantly criminals. The next one is um, seeing Roma as a problem group who may not be um, criminalized always, but they are unable to accommodate, right? They are too traditional, they are backward, and it happens throughout centuries. The harshest part of it is, you know, pure racism. These people are subhuman, right? The ones who are, are not needed in society, but we not get, get rid of them. And the third one is the um, sort of the tiny positive window. The Roma can be funny, the Roma can be entertaining, the, the Roma can be uh, at the service of the, uh, mostly the entertainment and good feeling of the uh, majority people. I mean, Hungary has a long past uh, of uh, discriminating Roma and persecuting Roma. You know, we can go back for centuries when uh, Hungarian Roma Romugro uh, people, they weren't able to speak their languages, their uh, la uh, tongues were cut out. The Roma children were given to uh, Hungarian parents, you know, in order for them to diminish their ethnic identity. And unfortunately, this discrimination and persecution didn't end. Uh, what we have seen in the past years is that Roma are uh, instrumentalized when it comes to political interests. You know what I'm, I'm seeing? No evolution. I see no evolution. So in the 90s, if you go to a shop, the guard will follow you instantly. And you wanted to uh, rent a flat, the landlord will, will refuse you. Or if you live in a Roman neighborhood and wanted to just walk in a city, uh, the policeman will come and stop you. So that was 30 years ago, and the problem is still there. Absolutely. The Roma Press Center is a new, was a news agency at that time, and we produced uh, materials about the everyday life of Roma, discrimination, housing, social problems, education problems, so all the problems uh, surrounding the Roma life in Hungary and in Europe as well. And we produced materials to the mainstream media. How civil courage in human rights in action could look like so these are, you know, just some of the manuals and reports that we have, we have been creating with the organization, but of course we do many, many, many more. So we decided uh, that because we have a gender studies background, you know, and we have been working on intersectional issues uh, for a while, it would be really great to create a network, a collective where Roma feminist gender equality professionals can come together to advocate for our involvement, our engagement uh, within the gender equality field, you know, in the mainstream, but also within the Roma communities. I think it's important when we talk about politics that a new, fundamentally new uh, um, regime of politics rule Hungary from 2010, and this is the Orbán regime. And this regime um, builds a um, social vision and political agenda based on a hierarchical understanding of society. They use the Roma as, uh, uh, to show that there are superior right, members of society or groups of society and there are the inferior. The way the people got inform, inf information from the world is changed uh, totally uh, thanks to the social media. So we changed our work. And uh, now we work different types of materials. In the last couple of years, we, we started uh, awareness raising campaigns. 
Egy óráig már a után, a Roma Holocaust. Do, they do not want to think us as, as community who are resistant, you know, who are very much active in Romani resistance, but also in the reality when you see Roma communities, Roma women and Roma LGBTQ people are the ones who are at the forefront of defending people, communities, traditions, but also human rights, human rights values. And now we are starting an unknown YouTube channel because we are thinking we need to put our perspective because that perspective is missing from the entire society is missing our, our Roma perspective. We will show our opinion about the happenings uh, around the Roma, not just uh, problems, uh, specifically Roma problems, but about the, about the every, everyday life in Hungary, which is affecting the Roma people. I think what not only the Hungarian society, but European societies can take uh, from Roma and Romani resistance as an example is really building up yourself from, from very scratch because as I said Roma people, the Romani communities in Europe have been diminished you know and destroyed many 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 times in the history but they still could stand up you know I think that's something also that the Hungarian but also the European societies can take it's really to, to how to live together how to reimagine ourselves our societies and our futures